trying to move our energy that's within us. So when one foot is rooted, the energy comes from the from your foot to your ankle, to your leg, to your knee, to your thigh, to your hips, to your waist. It travels over and pushes it back down this way. As this foot then becomes rooted, the energy is all stored up in that rooted foot. This other foot can advance. And as it comes down, the energy then transfers back to the other foot. But it internal energy always travels from your foot to your ankle, to your leg, to your knee, to your thigh, to your hips, to your waist, to your chest, to your shoulders, and then out the way. But in this case, it's transferring to the other foot. So the principle of shifting weight is what we uh, display when we do the sideways motion, but not only in the sideways motion. But also the rooting principle is that the foot that is down is rounded and it's rooted as if it were a banyan tree that was huge and if someone came to you and shook you, you would never move. But only when you then transfer that energy that you can come across and then sit down on the center of your body movement. That's where the strength of the power comes from. This from the legs becomes rooted. So the coil is straight here, it comes up here, coming up the back, and you're not pushing with your hands, you're pushing with the back here. Come up. Shoulder back, elbow to the back. Then you say, well, how do I get back? Is it faster? Roll, sense, sense. Everything's coiled back. Then you sort of out here. And come up. I just went out with you. Rest. Come out here. Here. This part. I'm just pulling. It's a long excursion. A part of it is something. Uh, body shift. Turn. Turn at the waist. Push with the body. And the right hand comes out here. There's not as much power. Uh, there is more power if the body is with it rather than you can just shift it like this. Everybody knows. Open. Same thing here. Hands, elbows. Get back. The car is back to the shoulders. So two inches below your dantian or your navel. Left hand at your shoulder. You're rooted down on your left foot. You're going to take an L stance. You're going to start to shift your weight. You're going to push away your opponent. The only way you can push away your opponent is use the your forearm, okay, your arm that pushes away. So your palm should be facing you. Your left or back foot should be straight. The knee cannot have a buckle in it, okay? The knee cannot have a buckle. And your silver thread is holding you upright, not leaning towards your front, not leaning towards your back, but in the middle. Then you're gonna flip the right hand and meet it with the other hand. Then you're going to pull down, pull back, sit back. At this point, your foot, front foot is elevated. Your weight is all on the back. If it's not on the back, you need to put it on the back. Turning, putting that top hand higher. Turning again, meeting in the middle, pushing at the wrist, separating. Sitting back all the way. And then pushing up and forward. Sit back, twist step, left hand on the bottom, T stance, hold your ball, weight on the right foot, root down, L, heel out, elevate and transfer the energy up and across, ward off, flip and meet. Pull down, pull back, sit back. Turning, squaring first, then pushing at your wrist to separate, sitting back, pushing up and forward. Drop your left hand, pivot your left foot. Open your right foot, open your right hand. 
Close your right foot, close your right hand. Shift your weight to the left. Put your right hand on the inside of your left wrist. Push that right wrist up, giving that energy to the left, rotating so that both palms are not facing you. Using the energy of your left hand to push out your right hand, separating, bringing that shoulder width away, across, pushing your energy down, flexing your knees. This is called closing form. Wrapping around, just the way you began commencing form. Lifting off your heel, putting it on this toe, shifting the weight to the right, toe down, slowly heel down, closing form. I'm not moving my hands to make my sit back, but my body is, ex is warranting or making my, my hand and motions come backwards. It is not just going, hey, you sit back. That's totally hands. But if you do it correctly and you sit back, the sit back is pulling my hands back. So we know that if you understand the principle early on, then you work towards trying to get it the best way you know how. But if we say it's okay, because you know your your hands, your hand ended here and you looked like you were really warding off. It really looked like you were putting on your opponent. But that's too easy. You need to use that internal energy to push that opponent away. Then you need to drag it down. But not just hands, but something that's I to the core of When, you know, after you, after you what in the way you come here, you could just leave these hands right here. And just sit back and do that. You've got more to come. What's doing it is your big muscles. Well, not just your sheer weight, but you're pulling these muscles here, you're pulling your leg muscles and sinking down. You're pulling these muscles here, you're pulling with your leg muscles and sinking down. Pulling. And it's just finishing it all. Come back here. Same thing here. I am here. I'm still here. I turn. And I get rotation energy. It starts the momentum. The body starts to finish off. Okay, so if there's no question, are there any questions on what we've covered up till now? Any questions? You take the movement out of sequence and so let's uh, work on getting the sequencing and maybe some of the transitions. Okay? So your job is not only to follow, but when I call out what it is to do, such as sit back or twist step, you try to make sure that you're doing what I'm calling out and match it to my feet. Okay? This is a 10 form, and then we have to, we'll have time because we started about eight minutes late. Alright, let's go. Tai Chi posture, taking off your robe, concaving, sinking your chest, dropping your shoulders, relaxing your knees, tongue on your palate, chin down. Commencing form, slowly drain the weight off your left foot, heel up, energy down on your right, on your toe, open, toe, so, heel. Hands rotate to the middle of your thighs. Take a deep breath in as you elevate. Both hands together. Shoulder level, drop your wrist, tuck your elbow, drop your shoulders, flex your knees. Left hand in the center, right hand above, higher. Open both palms, bring them to your ear. Turn your face, meeting in the middle, pushing and pull. Pulsing of the monkey center, open, bring it to your ear, turn your face, meet in the middle, pulsing of the monkey T stance, shift your weight to the right, multitask, ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee, sit back, 
twist step, shift your weight to the left, T stance, look at your back end that's higher, L stance, ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knees, center the front end, sit back, twist step, shift your weight to the right, hold your ball on the T stance, parting of course is made. L stance, center your right, left hand, serve your stand. Sit back, and twist step, hold your ball on a T stance. Parting of the horse's mane. L stance, O stance. Flip and meet, cloud hands. Sit back, move, twist step, cup, flip, close. Middle or cup at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, open and flip, 12 o'clock, middle or cup, only flip meet, 12 o'clock, middle or cup, 3 o'clock, flip meet, close. Middle or cup at 12, 3 o'clock, flip meet, open. Middle or cup, only flip meet, Shift your weight to the left foot, center the right hand, golden cockle stands on its left. Down, shift your weight to the right, center left hand, golden cockle stands on its right. Down, right hand on the outside, right foot coming up, kick out in line with your kick, in, down. Left hand on the outside, left foot coming up, kick out, in, down. Holding a ball in a T stance, L stance, ward off, flip and meet. Sit back, pull down, pull back, look back. Turn, square contact, push, separate, sit back. Up and forward. Sit back, twist step. Left hand on the bottom, hold your ball on the T stance. L stance, ward off. Flip the knee, pull down, pull back, look back. Turn, square contact, push, separate. Sit back, push up and forward. Drop your left hand, pivot your left foot. Open your right foot, open your right hand. Close your right foot, close your right hand. Shift your weight to the left, right hand on the inside, cross hands, pushing up from the power of your right hand, rotate at the wrist, so both palms are facing you. Use your left hand to push out the wrist of your right, separate, bringing it across. Making yourself small by dropping your shoulders, dropping your elbows and wrists, wrapping around to the side of your seam. Shift your weight to the right, heel up. On your toe, off the ground, toe down, closing form. 